Welcome back, everyone. I do mean everyone. It's Forgotten Circus. So, um, I'm going to be doing my spoiler review of Deadpool and Wolverine. It's a great movie. Great movie. But it does have its flaws. It does have its flaws. I can put... Trust me. But, uh, so I'm going to go over it. So, the one... There, there's a couple things in here that just... Kind of pulled me away from the movie, and the, the, their flaws. There's flaws in it. I, I I I I get it. Ryan Reynolds can only do so much when you know Disney is putting their little chokehold on everything. So understandable. But Cassandra Nova, and this is no fault to the actress and her performance. Her performance as Cassandra Nova was amazing. The only problem I had was it felt out of place because this movie had it, it, it was like who was the villain in this movie because you had the TVA the sub TVA with Paradox Hunter B-15 which and I gotta bring that up too if you haven't watched Loki you have to watch it to understand this so there's a lot of people that will say, oh, no, you don't have to watch. Y you do. There's a lot of hints at Loki from the show. Obviously, the TVA, the Time Variance Authority, that are a big part of this. So it was either the TVA or Cassandra Nova. See, that's, that's the mistake they made. They had to bring both of them in. and It, it just didn't. To me, that just didn't work. Even though Cassandra Nova, everything she did, even the thing with like Pyro, was like, why do you always got to do that? Like, get in my head and do all that. Why can't you just ask? I'll tell you. I did like that scene. She's like, hands in pocket. But, but yeah, it was, uh, she needed to be somewhere else. Or be the main villain in the void. The whole TVA thing was working with like Paradox. But then it's like, who who was? He's doing something for 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 something, and then um, Cassandra Nova is just like, I want to rule the void, but I'm gonna mess with people outside of the void and stay in the void. I didn't understand that part. But other than that, um, the movie is it's it's really good. Like the whole thing, blind Alf. and if you think that. You're going to see the original cast, like people like Negasonic, Yukio. Yeah, you're always going to, you do see them in the beginning. They're just not a big part of the story at all. This is basically, if you look at it, a love letter to Wolverine and 20th Century Fox. Literally, the movie. And they didn't have to add all that. I think they should have just done the TVA or done Cassandra Nova. You didn't have to mix the mix and match them, especially with Paradox. Because Paradox to me is kind of pointless. He's another one. He's and it's not like Cassandra, but Paradox is literally pointless. Like I don't understand. He's some subculture that's gone go, gone rogue in the TVA, and then Hunter B B fifteen apparently doesn't know what's going on, and then apparently she does. But no no fault it. I like Hunter B-15. I'm a, I'm a fan. But I know people are like, where's Loki? Where's Loki? Where's Loki? There's signs of Loki all over. Like, they bring that up, too. And I'm a... You, you have to watch Loki. You have to, to understand it, to a, a lot of this movie. But, yeah, that that part, it's like, who who's running what? So, okay, so I do... So there's a scene when he, he gets the upgraded suit from Paradox, and it is pretty upgraded. So they went with the more brighter red, which is more comic book accurate. I did like that. That was good. And they sent they sent him basically on a hunt to find a Wolverine because that he's the anchor being of his universe. If he wants, if he's doesn't want to lose his universe, so I don't know how they were. Did Paradox do that? So, you know, he's going he's going back. He gets Logan from Logan, you know, 
with the adamantine and that 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 scene was actually funny too because they go back in the middle of the movie and there's like a prequel of what happens there and then that was pretty crazy that was like some christopher nolan type stuff i did like that but uh and he's beating everybody up with uh (laughs) the adamantium skeleton it's hilarious and you can still see the grave from logan that that was pretty funny so he's got to find a wolverine because that's the anchor being he's got to bring the wolverine over to save his his universe so he goes through all of them and that the funny thing is they they actually played everybody so all those guest stars and guest people there were there are that you thought were going to be there or not there at all so I, I did like the smaller wolverine like the dwarf size wolverine which is funny which is more comic book accurate um, they go through like, and it's all Hugh Jackman, different Wolverines like Patch, and um, and stuff like that. But uh, and then they do the oh that that was that was good, that was good. They do the Henry Cavill <laughs> Wolverine scene, which was really good. Yeah, that was funny. But so then we go back. So this movie's like, oh, there's so much stuff going on that I have to keep going back and trying. So this is gonna be all over the place. But I'm gonna name a lot of characters. So one of my favorite characters in the movie actually is Channing Tatum as Gambit. Wow, with that Cajun accent. That speaking of Cajun boy, <laughs> yeah, that Cajun accent. Whoa. Seeing him on screen as Gambit, and I, I want to see a behind the scenes because if nobody knows the background of Gambit and Channing Tatum, he was supposed to be gambit like it was signed sealed sealed and delivered and it didn't happen and he was like heartbroken he said that he really wanted that role and to see him as it it works so if there's any on my wish list that you want to do anything marvel with gambit since you got all the rights now he's still young he still got it he's still i mean in this movie he's so good as gambit and um then you get like Daphne Keen X23. So they're giving uh Wolverine the pep talk. You were never you were you were never the right guy or whatever, which is pretty cool. And they do glimpses. Like it's a therapy session for Wolverine. It really is. And from what I from what I've seen and from what's been said, he's obviously gonna be in a couple more movies coming up. So stay in shape, Hugh. You can do it. You're almost about 90. It's like nah. But there, there are some scenes with Hugh that just he still. It's really a Wolverine movie. To be honest with you. But, yeah. So, so you got like uh yeah X twenty three Daphne Keen and she's. I mean, she fooled everybody and said she wasn't going to be in it, but she has a, a huge part in this movie, which is funny. She's like, oh, I'm not going to. So no, 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 like paparazzi or anything caught her on set for like the whole time because she's she's in a lot of the movie. But the the stuff that she does, in X-23, like she she she's so good. Daphne Keene is great. And then uh, we got so you got and then Chris Evans. Chris Evans in the movie. It was so funny because when they're in the void and they're about to go to Cassandra Nova and uh, Cassandra Nova. Okay. So you really think that like when he shows up, it's like Captain America. Oh, it's Captain America. And then when he took the thing off and said flame on, I was like, no. <laughs> and then apparently Deadpool gets him killed by Cassandra Nova, because he makes up this story, and Wolverine's like, nah, dude, dude. he's sitting there like, no, that's not what happened, and that, that, when she just rips the skin off of him, I was like, whoa, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? See, this movie's like that, but it does have some plateaus. It does, but but the the more elaborate parts are so, fr- they're, they're just amazing. It's like, how did that just happen? And then, you know, they change that up when uh, this movie it's crazy it's a good movie it's a great movie but you just you got to see it more than once and i know i'm missing a lot so somebody in the comments uh tell me what i missed because there's some funny parts in this movie so you know it's the whole vanessa thing he wants to save his timeline and then you got shatterstar and all those people there that, you know and uh 
there is a spot. Isn't that Vanisher? There is a spot that people are spaced out a little bit differently. Brad Pitt is Vanisher is there. Pretty sure of it. Yeah. So, um, and then there's this thing about him and Thor, like Thor's crying over him. And he's like, like, I don't know if that's an infusion because they kept asking about it. Cause I don't, are, are they going to bring him in secret wars, Deadpool? And he does like almost the, <laughs> the Tony Stark sacrifice. I don't know. We'll see. But so you got Elektra and then, um, see this all over the place. So you got Elektra blade and then you got, uh, Daphne Keen X 23. So they find them. They're st stuck in a the void. They're like, yeah, we know what Cassandra Nova's doing or whatever. And then we don't have enough manpower. And then they were like, we'll stand up for you because y'all can save the timelines and fix stuff and fix all the wrongs that we had. That that right there was okay, but it seemed like they were letting Wesley be Wesley and not Wesley be Blade. Although he did did stand up, but I I like that. I want to see that team up. And when Daphne Keen put on the glasses, bro. <laughs> That was great. That was really good. That was really good. So you had to team up. And a lot of them, hey, Elias, so you have to watch. You have to watch Loki because you don't understand what that uh, purple dust dust fire dragon is doing. That's that's Elias or whatever from uh from Loki. So gotta watch it. Unfortunately, you gotta do. And and I like Loki. I like Tom Hiddleston. I think they missed points when they should have brought Loki into it. But yeah, so so we get we get that, and then she uh, Cassandra. Knows, so they do obviously to fight juggernauts and all that. And the team is just so they're just good. Like they're the OGs, Electra, Blade, and all the ones that were kind of pushed to the side. But they were the those movies brought what is now. You know what I mean? Those are the OGs. They were like. They're kind of like the bastards, you know, but well, I shouldn't say bastards battle of the bastards, but anyway, yeah, I do like, and then the whole thing. So obviously Deadpool does know, and there's not a lot of fourth wall breaking in this movie where they're literally talking at the camera. And I do feel like Wolverine's redemption could have been done a little bit better without Cassandra Nova. I think the TVA, if you would have done the TVA and they showed him like all the film of all the different Wolverines would have actually made more of an impact because he'd be sitting down instead of having a finger through the head in some forest in Japan. You know what I mean? I think it would have been better there. He's just sitting down. So, yeah, so she got the sling ring and, and then Deadpool's like, strange, you know? Yeah. And then we, we got a. So they go out and whatever. See, this movie, I have to watch it more than once. So I may do more <laughs> more videos about it. But all the Deadpools are great. You got the Cowboy Deadpool. You got the one with the short arms Deadpool when he's fighting all the Deadpools. And he's like, yo, I got the Wolverine. And that, that scene is dope because, yo, Wolverine is freaking ridiculous. And then they show the mask. They put the, um, they may be doing this because he is getting a lot older, but it worked. The costume, just like Gambit, just like Chad and Tatum's Gambit. Wow. Like, I didn't think they could pull it off, but I did like, I did like the whole in live action. Because I think in this movie, they were like, yeah, just put it, yeah, we'll just do a comic book accurate. And it worked. But when he puts on, puts on, and then there's a scene when, the lady is looking at, he rips off the top or whatever. So he apparently wears it underneath everything because he's a failure and he didn't want to wear it. So after everybody in his universe died, he wears it. So that was pretty, <laughs> that was pretty funny when he ripped it off and everybody's checking him out. Like, damn, Hugh, yo, for real, he was still jacked. I don't know if that's a body double, but I think it was Hugh because Hugh, 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 <laughs> yeah. But that was dope. But I like how the eyes moved like Deadpool, which was pretty cool. That was good. So it works. And just like the Gambit one worked. So, I mean, there's a lot of villains that you see, like the Sabretooth thing was that. Whatever. He just ran through Sabretooth. But the two of them together, it was a therapy session. I did like that. 
The movie is it's good. Like the action sequences are totally finished. Like it's, you don't have that flash problem where it had the potential, but the CGI and everything was like, ugh. So basically, um, you got I just in the end, and then Cassandra Nova with the whole we're ruining, we're we're destroying all timelines. I'm gonna do all the the spaghetti thing from Loki that you need to see yet again happens. Like, why is this happening? Paradox is doing his thing, but he's not. He's on this side, but he's playing that side, but he's playing this side. And then 100 B15 with uh, Peter, uh, they have a thing going. Apparently, there's something with them, so that'll that'll work out in the future. But this definitely opens up for Deadpool has to. This isn't the last time you'll see Deadpool, and it's not the last time you'll see Hugh Jackman Wolverine. It will not be, because he brings them. So they kind of fixed our timeline or kind of um, stabilized it. But other timelines are kind of broken that can go into this timeline. They got to pick and choose. So I don't know what they're doing with that, but w- we'll see. Definitely a big part in the MCU right now. So, uh, uh, in like dog pool and <laughs> freaking dog pool, man, that dog is awesome. So obviously he brought over, I didn't see everybody at the table. So when they say, yeah, the timeline's fixed or whatever, it's stabilized. And then we got to fix all these things. So we may be calling on you in the future. You got to stay alert. That's basically what the time variance authority is doing, which should have been the whole villain and paradox and left Cassandra Nova out for something else. You could have saved her for way more. She could have been the big bad out of all of this. If you wanted to replace Kang, you would have done Cassandra Nova. So, but he's sitting there and he's with everybody and he got to see Wolverine, you know, Logan with his daughter. She knows obviously that is his, is her dad, but definitely from different timeline, but it seems like everybody's, and then he tells her to talk to Vanessa and be like, you did it all for her. Like, I mean, you did it for us, but you did it more for her. So I did like that. Um, the movie definitely is fun. It's great. It has its flaws, but it's a superhero movie. Remember, these are people running around in darn costumes. Okay. So Disney, you can tell Disney definitely had their hand in a lot of this. Um, is it going to bring back the superhero? It's a, the superhero phase where the genre where we're back again, where we're in Avengers, Infinity War, Endgame. Wakanda Forever, or my bad, Black Panther. Yeah, Wakanda Forever. Mm. But uh, yeah, is it going to do? It's a step. So this makes me worry. That new Captain America better be fire. You spent the most amount of money that you've ever spent on a movie. If Wait, is it? No, no I think... Uh, Indiana Jones got to be with reshoot. It's up there. It's up in the top 10. So it better be fire. So I don't know how this all connects because, you know, go either way, but I, I definitely enjoyed the movie. I thought it was, I thought it was great. And I thought that how they took out the original cast and started with a new cast and still had, it was just, it was perfectly placed except for a couple things, man. If you would if you would have taken those things out or figured out which one you wanted, it would have been a perfect movie. But anyway, I still give it I, I out of a score or whatever, out of ten, I'll give it a I'll give it an eight. Or no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Seven point five out of ten. Because of those two things. If they would have taken those couple things out, it would probably have been an eight point five for me. So but anyway. That was my spoiler review. I know it was all over the place, but it was as requested. So um, tell me what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I want everyone to subscribe. And I do mean everyone.